many have asked how do we get to run Nextcast radio automation uh, in the cloud? And basically what in the cloud means is you're running Nextcast on a virtual server in a server farm somewhere um, where they have um, electrical backup and internet, solid internet connection. So it removes the variable of having to run your server out of your home or your office and it allows you to run it in the cloud and log into it when you need to. So um, currently we recommend Database Mart and if you go to DatabaseMart.com it will send you to this Hyper-V Mart and we're going to click on Hyper-V Hosting. Generally the lowest cost option will work. Nextcast has very low resource requirements. Um, depending on your hard drive size you may need more if you have a lot of music. But again most uh, people can use the Express Windows Hyper-V hosting with um, Database Mart or Hyper-V Mart. And um, again, this is just one of the options. There's many uh, virtual server companies out there, but uh, we're using Hyper-V Mart at this time, and we're pretty happy with um, their service and their um, uptime, so that's who we're uh, suggesting now. So once you've signed up for the account, they'll send you an email with a remote desktop login credentials. And so next I'll show you how to set that up and log into your virtual server and install Nextcast on it. This is an example of what you will get from your VPS provider. They will send in um, your uh, control panel login. They'll also send you server configuration. The server name, this is what you're gonna type into your remote desktop for Windows and you can find remote desktop on most Windows computers by just searching for RDP. Um, it also works on Mac and I believe on mobile devices as well. You'll have a username of administrator and then you'll have a password. And so we'll also go into some deeper details about how remote desktop is set up. So you'll notice I have that little icon here. I click that icon whenever I want to log into my remote server. So um, there's a general tab on the login. That's where you type in your computer name and username. But there's also some other options here. You can set display options, which we leave to default. And you can also set up local resources. So what I like to do is on the local resources tab, I want to check more and I want to check the hard drive where my music is located. This is helpful when I'm first adding music so I don't have to copy and paste files across the network. I can just directly import them from my local drive. So once you have this set up, we're going to go ahead and connect. And then when you connect, you will get to your server. So this is where your server is and you want to go to the web browser or maybe just copy and paste. You can copy from your Windows desktop and paste onto your server just like you do any other uh, computer. And so this is where I can double click and I can go ahead and install Nextcast. We already have it installed and running on this server so I'm not going to go through the whole process but you basically just install Nextcast on the server um, using the same process you would on a local computer. Once Nextcast is installed, um, you would set up your broadcast settings and any other settings um, you would normally do if you were running uh, Nextcast local. Now, one important thing to remember is when you're um, running on a virtual server environment, you want to make sure you check no sound card. Okay, so in broadcast settings, we're going to go and check no sound card. And once you've done that, you're going to have to actually restart Nextcast. So we're going to go ahead and close it and we're going to open it again. And again, this is running on my virtual server. So if you can see, I'm actually on my local Windows machine. And if I double click here, this is just another window, but it looks just like Windows. And that's where Nextcast is running from. So I'm actually going to go ahead and enable the encoder here so we can get connected. So, um, I want to show you the trick about when you set up the remote desktop connection to be able to see your local files. I can go now and uh, let's say I'm setting up a new category. I can create a new category and we'll just call this test. Oh, 
retype that. Okay, so I have my test category here. Okay, and now if I wanna add music to my test category from my local machine, I can go and this is my mounted drive. I have a radio station mix, hot top 40. I can grab all my tracks. And again, that might take a little bit of time because we're doing it over the network. But um, essentially what Nextcast will do then is import that music across the network. Maybe. Yeah, there it goes. So again, it's going to take a little time to initialize, but this is much easier than copying and pasting to your desktop. You can also just um, copy and paste or maybe use a Google Drive or a um, Dropbox system to just install that on the server and use that as a shareable method but um, this is kind of an easy way so again I'm importing all that music from my local computer directly to the server so once that's set up you continue to set up Nextcast just as you normally would and um, just like you would on a local computer um, the one other thing is when you connect to Nextcast you will be able to preview files so I'll be able to listen to the files while Nextcast is playing out without interrupting the broadcast. You also know, notice that um, the on-air light will have a no sound card mode text below it. And that tells you that you're running a no sound card mode because generally a virtual server does not have a sound card. And we've designed Nextcast to go ahead and work in that environment. So uh, lastly, I will just take one quick note here in settings. Uh, when you have your virtual uh, server set up, you want to do a backup and restore down here and then keep a backup locally um, just in case you get um, disconnected from your server or your, something happens to the virtual server. You always have a backup of your radio station so you can get back up and running as quick as possible. Well, that's a quick video on describing how to set up Nextcast in a virtual server environment. And setting up this way will free your local computer from running. And basically this will run all the time in the cloud. And whenever you need to log in to build rotations or playlists or whatever else you need to do, um, that's going to be done very conveniently. The cool thing about this too is this will work from a Mac. So if you want to log into your virtual server via Mac or even your mobile phone or your Android device or your tablet, um, that really gives you the flexibility to do that. So here, all the music that we took, it downloaded from my local computer into the virtual server. Thanks for checking out this video. Hope it's helpful.